Hey everyone, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to create a group and then we are going to add our bot in that group and then we are going to use bot APIs and going to see whether our bot is able to read any message which is being sent in that group. So first I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call that group. Let's think a good name for our group. Let's call it Hello World Training. Now it is asking what uh, who are the members which I want to add in this group. So I'm going to add the bot which we have created. So remember our bot name is hello world underscore zero one underscore bot. So it is going to find our bot and then you can select that bot, click on create and then our group is ready. So our group is called hello world training and our bot name is hello underscore world underscore zero one underscore bot. Okay, so you can see right now we have already added our bot in the group. So if I click here on the title, you can see in the group info, we can see that this bot has already been added. And also if you are on desktop version, in that case, you can click on view group info and then you should be able to see group information as well. And otherwise you can also click here. So once you click on this, it is going to open group info on the right hand side, which is going to give you information about all the members which are there in that group. So now since we have our bot here in the group, now let's see whether our bot is able to read any message which is being sent here or not. Okay. So right now i'm not going to write any message first thing let's try to understand the api which is required in order to see the messages with the bot now here on the right hand side you can see i have gone to collab.research.google.com and here i'm going to click on new notebook in order to create a new notebook and then we will start programming and we will start seeing how to interact with uh, this bot and how to read all the messages which has come from this bot so first thing which we will do is let's give a name to this uh, notebook and then we will start code. So this notebook I'm going to call bot demo training. And throughout the course, we are going to use the same notebook. So whatever code I'm going to add, it is going to be added in this notebook. Now we will start making use of bot API. So as I told you, in order to interact with a bot, we are going to use APIs, which is going to be basically giving us uh, an interface to easily interact with bot. And all the heavy work or complex work is actually going to be done by bot APIs under the hood. So here you can see, I'm going to use our first API, which is going to be called api.telegram.org slash bot. And then we need to give uh, the token ID of the bot. So in this case, as you remember, our token ID is already stored there on bot father. So I'm going to go to bot father. And then here on the bot father, if you remember, uh, I guess you don't remember because this is such a long API uh, key, I'm going to copy this key and then I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so make sure you have this uh, URL until here and then you paste the complete token whatever you have got from bot father and then we are going to write slash and then we are going to write get updates okay so this is the api which we are going to use in order to get update from telegram bot now on the left hand side again i'm going to search for the group which we have created so our group name is hello world and let me also send first message to this group so i'm gonna write hi and now i'm going to so now as i told you in api introduction video so these are uh, these apis can be called using http method so rather than uh, calling this api here programmatically first i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to open a new uh, tab here and then i'm going to paste everything here okay and then hit enter and then let's see what is the data which we get so ideally it is going to show us all the messages which has been received by bot so here you can see by default, it is not showing us any message. So I'm going to write here slash hi and let's see if our bot is able to read this message. So now you can see our bot was able to read slash hi. Okay. And also this message is actually a bot command. Now, one thing if you remember is our bot was somehow not able to read hi. So we will look into that. And uh, other thing which you can see is this is a JSON data. Okay. So if you know about JSON data, uh, it is very good uh, you will be able to easily understand everything but basically when we interact with telegram api telegram api returns us the data in json format now json format is very easy i'm going to explain that to you in next session in little more detail however there is a json formatter which we are going to use throughout this course so i'm going to search for json prettifier by going to google and searching for json prettifier and then you can see first we have a JSON formatter. So you can use anything. You can see there are so many options available. So probably let's go ahead and check the second option. And it is basically going to give us an interface. So here you can see on the left hand side, I need to paste the API. So whatever, if you have previously used this website, 
So now you can see on the left hand side I need to give the JSON and on the right hand side it is going to prettify it and then it is going to show it, us that. So here I'm going to copy everything. Let's copy all the message which we have received and then we are going to paste it here. And now click here on tree viewer and here you can see on the right hand side it has prettified this JSON and now we can expand this result. We can expand this and then we can see in messages we have received uh, we have data something which is called message ID from chat and if I expand from then I can see who is the person who has sent this message so we can see that in this group I am the one who sent the message so here we can see this is the message which, which is uh, here and I am going to expand chat in the chat you can see title of the group which is hello world training so you can see this is the title of our group and in the type also it is telling you that this message has come from group and if you uh, see here text in the text actually contains the actual message and then if you expand entities here we don't see anything important so that's not uh, what we need so mostly all the data which we are going to see uh, stays under messages so under messages we have so many important data okay so that's all you needed to know now let's see why we didn't get message uh, high message which we printed here ideally all the messages which we are sending in this group we should be able to see those messages now let's say I'm going to send one more message which is hello world hit enter and then uh, we are going to go back here and then uh, we are going to refresh it and it should be able to uh, show us hello world okay now for some reason when we wrote hi it was not able to you know send us the data related to that so uh, sometimes when you are working uh, on bot for the first time and you are hitting this application for the first time there might be a couple of messages which might be missed but after that you are not going to see any missed messages so now you can see we wrote hello world and hello world is also here so if I write something else like good morning and then if we refresh it here you can see that there is one more data which is called good morning okay so you see there is set of data which is being sent and also you can see all the messages uh, which we are seeing is almost in the same format so here you can see this is the data which we have received so if you want to again you want to json prettify it you can again go ahead and use it so for example here again if i want i can copy it and then i'm gonna paste it here or let's uh, do one thing let's just copy everything and then we are going to paste it here so i'm gonna copy everything from here and i'm gonna paste it here on json prettifier and then we are going to click on tree viewer and now here you can see earlier we had result as one now we had three result because we have three messages here okay first message was this second was this third was this and the very uh, very first message which was sent in the beginning somehow got missed which is fine it can happen when you are creating a new account and you are adding the user to the group and you sending the message immediately okay but uh, from now onward there should not be any message which is uh, going to get missed now let's expand this zero and click on message you can see in text we had slash hi now expand the first one go to message expand it you can see in the text we have hello world expand this uh, second one you can see now we have good morning okay so you can see all the messages which we are sending here we are able to see all those messages by using uh, this api which is uh, which we called just by uh, writing this complete you know api call on the browser address bar Okay, so this is this is the API which we called and uh, remember as of now we have not used Python programming at all. All we did is we just called this API directly pasted here on this address bar which actually made an HTTP GET call and we were able to see all the data which was being sent in this group. Now we are going to see in next session we are going to see how we can interact with the same bot API using a program.